sorry that last video ended kind of abruptly. Uh, I wanted to split it in half so we could look at more about posting and specifically posting and including materials with the posts. So let's go ahead and add another post. We will click on add post. We will choose where we want the post to go. So in this case, uh, unit one. And then maybe I will call this um, chapter one notebook guide. Okay, sort of a homework assignment. And then I will type the instructions here. And then here I will name the assignment. So it'll be complete the chapter one notebook guide. And it'll be due on Monday, for example. And now what we can do is we can attach material uh, because maybe the notebook guide is in a PDF format and you want them to use an app uh, to annotate the PDF and then turn it into and submit it. Or it could be like a Word document type file and then they could use pages to type on it and submit that back to you, uh, whatever it is. And so we will click attach material and then it gives you four options. Add from my computer, we'll use that right now, and that's gonna look very familiar, and that's gonna bring up a box where we can navigate through our computer's hard drive and try to get to uh, where the assignment is. So I said uh, study guide, and so now I will choose, you know, this study guide here, and I'll click the choose button, and then it uploads for me. You can see the upload button up here as well. And there it is attached. Edward's study guide, chapter one. And then when I'm ready, I can hit post. And then my students will see that. Here we are back in the iTunes U course, and there's the new post. So this is what the students would see. So if I select this, and then I select the attachment, and there I can see, I can uh, hit this button to download it, or just tap anywhere here to open it up. You can see that it'll take a moment to download, depending on how big it is. Now I'll tap it, select it again, and this is what the students would see. So for example, if I wanted my students to complete this assignment, they would need to open it in another app. And then up on the top right here, you can see this button, select that. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is iOS 6, and so this is, if you have iOS 5, it looks a little bit differently, and iOS 6, it looks this way. I like Notability, so I will choose Open in Notability. And this would be the app that the students could use to um, complete the assignment that I posted. Okay, so I can use this to write my name. Okay, block five, and then I would write whatever. Okay, and then there is the student's assignment that they are able to complete. And then if I want to go back in my iTunes U course, I would hit that done button. And that brings me right back. And then once I've done, and once I've completed the assignment, I can click the checkbox so that I know that I'm keeping track of my assignments for myself. Okay, let's look back in our um, iTunes U course manager. And some other things you can do with these posts. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just edit. Well, we'll make a new post. Let's get crazy. Um, added post, so maybe this is a unit two assignment. Um, here are instructions or description, whatever information we'd have there. And more materials that you can attach. So add for my computer, we just talked about, and I did, um, you know, you can do PDF, uh, Word doc, things like that. You can also add a, um, well, for example, a video. If you um, have video lectures, um, actually, let me show you uh, what that looks like. I actually have some that I've uploaded in another course. Um, anything that you upload in iTunes U, you can later access by selecting Choose from My Materials. So by choosing that, I've hit the, by selecting this course, it shows all of the materials that are in this current iTunes U course, but I can also look at all the materials that I've uploaded in any of my iTunes U courses. And so this is a much longer list. And so by looking through here, uh, we can see if there is more, uh, something else that we want to, to use. I, I know I'm, there it is. I'm going to select this. And what this is, this is actually a video. So the assignment will be 
watch budget lecture video and I need them to watch that by Friday. One of the neat things is, is you can even select where and when where and when to start and stop the video. So you can see the whole video is 24 minutes, but maybe I want them to start at the 10 minute mark and end at the 20 minute mark. You can use these features to do that. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I want students to watch the whole video. And then I will select post. And go back into the iTunes U course. Post is up. It's that fast. And here is the budget video to watch. And then I will select that. Oops. Hello, today we are going to talk about the... I wonder how that recorded. <laughs> Apologize, I forgot about the feature. The, the air, it's, it's difficult for me to airplay and record my iPad when we watch the videos, but students would be able to see that. Um, so you can use those types of uh, materials to post in here as well. Um, let's go ahead and go back. Uh, here was our course. One of the things I just want to point out is you can edit these posts later. So if I hit this uh, X button, it'll delete it and it'll be gone for good. If I hit the blue arrow button, I can go back and make changes. So say I, I don't want them to see this video. I made a mistake. I want to add different uh, materials. We go back to attach material. I can enter a web link. So this would just be you know copying and pasting a link to a website that I want them to, to view. Uh, for example, as part of an assignment. So that's a very, very uh, simple way to do that. And then one of the coolest features is this one that says enter an iTunes store link. And what you can see is um, this is where you would copy and paste an iTunes store link. And so I'll show you here in a second. When you're in iTunes, you will look for this button and then you'll click the little arrow right there. And then you'll look for this copy link button. Let me show you what that looks like. Say for example, you found in the iTunes store an app that you want your students to download. Uh, this Stitcher Radio app has podcasts, for example. I will click on this button, then I will click copy link, and then I will take that link and paste it in here. Then I will click add. You can see there's the app. I should probably rename this download this app and then I will hit save and that has changed it or post for example would, since I wasn't since I was editing an old post that's where it would be So now let me show you what that would look like in the uh, iTunes U course for the student view. You can see here's our post. You see if we select it, there is the app that would be available for students to download. Okay, so back in the iTunes U course, um, the last thing I want to show you uh, for this video while we're here is this materials tab. And you can see here all of the materials, we click all that we've uploaded so far. Um, here's another app I was playing with earlier. Uh, there's the video, here's documents, those kind of things. So you, you can see these things, you'll know what you've uploaded and what's available. And these things are going to be available to students in their iTunes U course as well.